Right now, we are just over a week away from Election Day. The race for U.S. Senate is heating up, and since the beginning, it's been wrapped in a bit of controversy. Out is after Governor Chris switched parties. He went from being our Republican governor to independent Senate candidate. This morning, though, the Miami Herald is reporting a new report prompted by Chris' party switch may actually lead to new state campaign laws in the future. Another controversy brewing here, though, over a new issue that deals with Chris' Social Security plan. If you haven't heard, this morning some critics say the plan essentially grants amnesty for illegal immigrants as a way to save and pay for Social Security. Now, both of his opponents, Republican Marco Rubio and Democratic Congressman Kendrick Meek, are calling Chris out for this. And join us this morning to talk about it and weigh in on the issue is Senator Mike Herodopoulos. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. You're busy uh, working right now with a lot of the candidates, but this is one that's getting a lot of talk, especially after the last debate. So essentially, tell us what Chris' plan would be. Well, Chris' plan says we need amnesty, which I don't support. I don't think many Floridians support. And secondly, he think it's somehow it's going to solve the Social Security problem. Nothing's further than the truth. It would actually add to the overall debt for our country long term. Everyone who scored at PolitiFact said twice that this would never work. And, and then he said that Robert Rice, a former Clinton official, said it was a good idea. Robert Rice said, I've never said that ever. So it's, it's an uh, pretty plan, curious. Yeah, to say the least, he's talking about all these people who are working. He's saying, OK, if we get them paying taxes, all that money is going to start flowing in. But when you start thinking it out, um, a lot of illegals have ID cards, partially social security cards that are fake ones, so they're actually paying taxes already, but maybe not reaping the benefits in return. So is that where the problem comes in, that their money's feeding the system, they're not taking the money, and if you put them in legally to the system, that's more people needing the money in return. You broke the code clearly. It's, it's that case. Amnesty, first of all, is not a good idea, and you're only making the system even worse. You know, we need reward work. Mm -hmm. it's, it's election time. People are going to try to scare senior citizens, and this is exactly what Charlie Chris is doing. Shame on him. And that's why so many people have called him out saying you made up a person say it's a good idea yeah. and it's a bad idea on top of it we need to have the like, let's just say the honesty in politics and that's why so many people are disappointed in the governor going to this scare tactic late in the campaign social security is always a political football across the entire country but really here in florida because we have so many retirees down here getting close to needing that money and so this is something that people are listening to saying okay if this can save us you know maybe this is the answer so if this is not the answer how then do we save social security make it solvent beyond the next 30 30 years when we start to see that crisis. Well, first of all, it's the most important issue. 50 million Americans are on Social Security. It's vital for our country. And my mom, my dad, Marco Rubio's mom is on Social Security. So we want to preserve it. But we need to think long term for younger workers like yourself and myself. We know that we need to change the system in a way that works for people, but only after study. But if people are relying on Social Security, those 55 and over, no worries, no changes. But people under 40, they're going to have to look at this and say, let's make some changes. Let's have some real common sense and make sure it works for taxpayers not just for the government. Remember right now, the government is using the extra money in Social Security mm -hmm. to pay for other things, not for Social Security, and that's wrong. In the end, though, when we look at uh, Chris and what his proposal is, do you honestly believe that this is something that he thinks would actually work that would make Social Security solvent, or is it just another political football, as we've been talking about, maybe playing to the Hispanic vote or just something that is kind of a last-minute something to maybe push him ahead here in the end? Again, you nailed it, Heidi. Unfortunately, Charlie Chris is doing anything to get elected, saying one thing, doing another. The hypocrisy is running wild. You know, this is a serious time for America. And what's so impressive about Mark Ruby, in my opinion, is he put all of his plans out on his website and very forthright. We need people who are going to go to watch and work for us and for the taxpayers. And it's very disappointing that Charlie's using the typical scare tactics of Social Security with just 11 days before the election. All right, 11 days to the election. You're running uncontested, so an easy one for you right now. Yes, ma'am. Backing up your friends right now. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us and for uh, talking about this important debate. We do want to uh, remind you here that we did try to contact the governor to get his comment on this. We requested that he call us in by phone to talk about his Social Security plan himself and back it up, but we've not heard from him yet. When we do get that phone call, we will certainly let you know. Senator Herodolpas, thanks so much for joining Thank us. Thank you as always. Thank you.